Hello, welcome to Geometry. We're starting second semester today, so let's get right to it. We are doing some review today, some new stuff. Second semester is a good one. Lots and lots of new material during second semester, and I think you will like it. A lot of good triangle stuff that's very useful. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop onto Desmos. So student dot desmos.com. Got a little review there. Uh, it's just kind of a mixture of things. Some old stuff, some very, very old stuff. It's pretty interactive. Obviously, in class, I can help you with stuff. If you're at home, just go through and try it the best you can. After that, we're going to grab whiteboards and do a little refresher, especially on transformations. Okay, so a variety of things, but especially transformations. That was things like translations, reflections, rotations, dilations. Do we know what we're doing with those? All right, so for each thing, I'm going to show you a picture, give you kind of a little time to ponder it. So if you're working on this by yourself, just pause the video and try and describe what's happening from the blue shape to the orange shape in as much detail as possible. So that's telling me not only what it is, like is it a reflection, is it a rotation, but can you be more specific than that even? So if it's a translation, can you tell me how far I'm translating? If it's a rotation, can you tell me what direction or how much I'm rotating? If it's a reflection, can you tell me what direction or what I'm reflecting across? That sort of a thing. Okay, so first one here, from blue to orange. It looks like I'm just sliding it over. It is a translation, because I'm just sliding this thing. And I can be more specific than that, because I can say how far I'm going. So I can count off how far to the right I go, and how far down I go. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the right, and then down three. So I'll say eight right, and down three. So that's what we're looking for for these different transformations. Can I be very specific about what is going on? So next one, let's check it out from blue to orange. What do we have here? So we're going to have a rotation. So it looks like I'm pinning this point down and then spinning this thing. So I'm rotating around point P and I'm going clockwise, looks like a quarter turn, 90 degrees. Okay, can you try this one? So ponder it, think to yourself, whatever you need. What kind of transformation from blue to orange is going on here? Looks like just a mirror image, which we call a reflection. And I want to be very clear, say reflecting across this red line in the middle. Okay, we can manage this. How about this next one? What do we have going on here? So from blue to orange, hmm. Couple different possibilities, but I think the most clear or easiest one would be to call this a translation. And I go one, two, three, four, five units to the right. And then I go one unit down. Neat. Okay, how about here? I've got kind of a smaller blue triangle going to a bigger orange one which we only had one of these transformations that changed sizes. That's called a dilation. And if you recall, we talked about it once or twice. There's a couple kinds of dilations. There are enlargements and there are reductions. This one is an enlargement because it's getting bigger. And if I count the sides, they're sort of double in size. Size of two goes to four. Side of one goes to two. So I call that scale two. I'm enlarging it by scale factor two. All right, see if you can try this one. Give it a whirl. So no spinning or flipping here, I'm just gonna call it a translation, going down four units and right one unit. All right, so as you keep chugging along, here are a couple of triangles. They're not congruent, but they are in fact similar. 
because I can see a bunch of angles match up here. My head's covering one of them. Do you think you can figure out what is this value question mark? How long is that side of the triangle? So maybe pause, ponder it, see if you can find any sort of a pattern. Hmm. Well, if I look at the other sides, three is tripling to nine. Five is tripling to 15. So four should probably also triple to give us what number? It should be 12. Okay, a couple other skills we do want to make sure we've got down. Can you find the area of this triangle? So area of a triangle is length times width divided by two. So we'll just say nine times 12 divided by two. You can try in your head, you can go on a calculator, just whatever works best for you. That would be 54 square units. And last but not least, a nice little challenge problem. I'm not gonna totally solve it for you because I wanna give you a chance to think about it. Can you find the area of this shape? It is a trapezoid, which my advice to you would be, don't try and do it all at once or look up a trapezoid formula online is just think of it in pieces. If I draw a little line here, I have a small right triangle on the left end. If I draw a vertical line from D, there's another right triangle on the right side, and then there's a square in the middle. Can I find the area of each of those pieces individually and then add them up? And you can certainly try that. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely day.